What up, everybody? It's your boy, Jess Brandon, back with another great video. And I want to take a couple minutes today to talk about the uh, ammo crisis. Everybody's talking about the ammo crisis on all of the videos, on all of the message boards and everything. Everybody's complaining about, you know, the retail shortages and you know, the shelves being empty. They're complaining about the hoarders and you know, people buying up all the ammo just because. And they're talking about specific, more specifically people price gouging. That's people who are buying up all the stuff off the retail shelves, holding on to it or selling it at, you know, 100, 200, 300 percent markup, you know, profiteering. Now, while I don't agree with that practice and I don't support those type of practices in general, this is a capitalist based economy. So there's nothing illegal about people doing that. It is unethical, but, you know, based on our capitalist based economy, it is well within their right to do so. But it's also well within your right not to support those businesses that do that. Um, but on the flip side of things, I'm also seeing a lot of people complaining, but I'm seeing very few actions. You know, all of the people who are complaining are you know, lazy for lack of a better term. You know, they're only shopping online. They don't go out and actually look at the stores. So the only prices they see are the marked up inflated prices online, you know, or they do go out and they only check one store. You know, if they go to Walmart and Walmart doesn't have ammo, then nobody has it. So I might as well go home and complain that nobody has ammo when you only check one store, you know. Another thing I'm seeing is people only going out and looking every now and then, you know, so you go out once and you strike out and you don't go and look again for another couple of weeks or another couple of months, but you're on the internet every day bitching and complaining about how nobody has ammo. Well, you don't know because you're not out looking consistently. You looked once and you know, that's it. And the last thing I'm seeing about complaints anyway, is the people who are settling for these inflated prices. You know, normally these are people who are buying their ammo offline or they're buying it from, you know, local mom and pop stores who are gouging. Cheaper than dirt comes to mind. Um, PSA has been accused of this a couple of times as well, uh, as well as I want to say, I think Midway or Academy, Midway has also been accused of this as well, is where, you know, they're paying 40 and 50 bucks for a box of nine millimeter and they're not questioning it. They're just paying it willingly. So, with that in mind, guys, I just thought I would take a few minutes to show you guys what I got on my most recent ammo haul and show you what I paid for it. Now, manufacturers have increased their prices, and because of that, the uh, vendors have also marked up their prices, which means that the prices you're seeing now in stores are slightly more than what they were this time last year. Everything I bought was at current market value, and it wasn't inflated at least in my opinion so with that in mind i'm going to show you guys what i got and i'm also going to give you a couple of tips on what to do so that you can get ammo for yourself so we'll start with the tips number one what i do is i shop locally now i happen to live in a very 2a friendly county in illinois if there is such a thing but um locally I can throw a rock in any direction and hit about six or seven gun stores within like maybe 10 or 15 minute drive for me. So when I go out and look for ammo, I always go out and look at multiple places. It's never just one place and it's never just in one area. I go out and I look in multiple places. The second thing I do is I look for multiple calibers. I have multiple different handguns and rifles and shotguns and things of that nature. So if I don't have nine, if they don't have nine mil at one store, and they have 22, I'm getting 22. If they don't have 22, but they have 12 gauge and I'm getting 12 gauge, you know? I don't constrain myself to just one caliber. The next thing I do is I make multiple trips. Guys, you have to get out there and look for this stuff. So if you're going to say Walmart and Walmart doesn't have anything, then go to another Walmart or another Walmart after that. There's Walmarts everywhere. Or if you have local gun stores, you have more than one, I would shop at all of them don't limit yourself to such a small section. If you do that, you'll come up, I promise you. With that in mind, everything nowadays have purchase limits. Everything I bought today had a two box per brand purchase limit. So I got two boxes of everything I'm about to show you. 
And once again, these are all post crisis prices. So they're not going to be what we paid for them last year. So with that being said, let's get into it. PMC bronze 380 auto two boxes of these cost me $15.99 per box. Wolf Performance Double Lot Buckshot. Two boxes of these cost me $11.99 a piece. Tula. Nine millimeter steel cased ammo. Nine millimeter has been very hard to find. I usually don't use this stuff, but it was available and it was in the caliber I needed, so I had it. Two boxes of this was $12 a piece. Next up, I have Winchester 556, the 855 green tips. Note about these, these are not range safe. The green tips are considered penetrator rounds, so indoor ranges do not like you using these. These are outdoor range use or hunting use only. Two boxes, uh, two boxes of these, $12.50 a piece. Frontier 223, two boxes of these, $12.50 a piece. Winchester White Box, 333 round bulk pack. I will tell you that this is the only ammo currently carried at Walmart that is not a shotgun round. Uh, 22LR, 22 Magnum, and 1210, 410, and 20 gauge shotgun rounds are available at Walmart now. Good luck finding any type of handgun caliber there. But 22, two, well, 333 round bulk pack. $18 a piece. Next up, a Gila 22LR Super Extra. Two boxes of these was $4.99 a piece. I've never shot these before. I'm actually really interested in how these perform. I might do a My Honest Opinion video on these after I get to the range and shoot them a little bit just to kind of give you guys my thoughts on how they perform. Arms Core 9mm, the elusive 9mm. Once again, I don't really, I'm not a fan of this brand of ammunition if you've seen any of my older videos. However, desperate times, desperate measures, this brand is available. It was readily available actually, and it was actually pretty cheap. This is actually the closest to the pre pandemic crisis, whatever you want to call it. That I was able to find and this came out to $12.99 per box. I actually got four boxes of these. I had two from one store and two from another. So $12.99 a box for Arms Core 9mm. Last but not least, Blazer Brass 9mm handgun ammunition. This is my favorite ammunition. I love this stuff and I buy it by the case whenever I can. Fortunately, right before the pandemic hit, I just bought 2,000 rounds of it, so I was pretty well stocked on it, which is good because this was one of the first things that flew off the shelf. My local gun store happened to have some in stock. They had a two-box limit, and this was $14.99 a piece. This is normally $9.99 or $10.99, depending on if you catch it on sale or not, but $14.99 a piece for two boxes of these. All of those are... Fair prices, in my opinion, with everything that's going on. I'm not paying $20, $30 for a box of ammunition. I'm not paying $700 bucks a box for 1,000 rounds of ammunition. So, guys, get out there. Get looking. Shop locally if you can. And um, put a little bit more effort into what you're doing, and you'll find some ammo, too. I am just Brandon. You guys stay safe.